friends i am here to uh, teach you about the fibonacci series fibonacci series as we all know <clears throat> in programming it creates a problem for us <laughs> but it is very easy now i am discussing it today i will tell you how to make a program on fibonacci series there are two types of fibonacci series you will find where the first term is 0 and 1 second term first and second term are 0 and 1 or first and second term are 1 and 1 it can be 0 1 what now what is fibonacci series first of all there are two types but what it is all about fibonacci series means the third number will be the sum of the previous two Suppose the first two are zero and one, the sum of zero and one will be one, and again the sum of one and one will be two, again of one and two will be three, uh, sum of two and three will be five, sum of three and five will be eight, and so on. That is the third term will be the sum of the earlier two digits. either it can start with 0 and 1 or it can also start with 1 and 1 they can be uh, two different types of fibonacci series uh, but i am taking the first one you can take either okay now how you will uh, write the program first we should know that what we have to do suppose this is the first term this is the second term and this is the third term so what i have to do always is i have to find the sum of these two and then i have to generate the third number again i have to find the sum of these two and then i have to find the other number then again the sum of these two and the third number and so on it will continue so how we will do now we take two variables first is a and second is b as a as a first two numbers suppose a is 0 b is 1 and uh, suppose the third is c okay the third number would be c and c should be a plus b but how it will happen every time and the series would be having n terms so the program will run for n terms means your program should print n terms for fibonacci series suppose n is 4 then it will print 0 1 1 2 and if it is 6 n is 6 then the terms would be 0 1 1 2 3 3 and 5 there are six digits uh, six terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on so first two numbers you will have to take and after taking the first two terms we'll keep on changing the first two terms and then find the third term how we will do that first we will take this as b a this as b and generate the third term c sum of a and b again what will we do we will take the the value which was b as a and now the value of which was c as b and again we'll find the sum and put it in c this what we are doing is we are swapping we are swapping the values you can see the video swapping of two numbers that i have discussed in my earlier series to understand more now how we will do i'm just writing it and we will have a dry run and you will understand more first is your rem statement as we write the program then basic you can convert it in any program any other language to generate n terms in fibonacci series and then let because i i have to initialize two values a as 0 30 let 
be as 1. I am taking the first two terms 0 and 1. You can also take the if in the second case you can take a as 1 and b as 1 if we take up the second type of Fibonacci series. Okay. I am taking up the first type. Now what I have to do, I have to print these two terms also. The first two term I have to print. So I would be writing print a and sorry it is 40. My mistake. Again print b. The first two terms are printed. Now what is to be done? I have to before this I have to uh, I'm sorry so sorry I have to input enter number of terms in Fibonacci series I have to take up a variable n where I will store the number of terms how many times I want to print okay now we have printed the first two numbers it means my loop or these because I have to repeat these statements these statements will be in a loop not these two the sum one and the swapping statements so I will have to take a counter which will count the number of terms that are being printed because two are being printed I will take the value of i as 3 because now onwards third term will be printed 70 two are already printed uh, I am going for third one so I have taken the counter as 3 counter will be increased as, as we will print the other values other terms of this series I will con do this in a while loop while w h i l e this is a while loop while condition is i is less than or equal to n I am taking up i uh, the value of n as suppose the user has given 6 ok so the this loop will continue for third term fourth term fifth term and sixth term ok means four times two values I have printed four more values I have to print this loop will continue for four more times if the value of n is 6 now what I have to do first thing first sum of the first two then swapping swapping mean exchanging the I am changing now the this the value that was in B I will put it in A A is equal to B means value of B being put into A now value of B sorry sorry value of now B is empty so we will put the value of C that is the sum in B I am so sorry the value of B being put in A and the value of C being put it into B this is swapping 110 I here we will only print C as we have exchanged the values it will continue um, I will increase the counter by 1 because for the third term it happened now it will happen for the fourth term then the fifth term and the sixth term while and when this is the end of while loop ok and 140 end now I will let you know how this program will run 
we will have to take a loop because we are repeating these statements again and again first i have taken a and then b a is 0 b is 1 the first two terms of the fibonacci series then i have to enter the value of n terms enter number of terms in fibonacci series to the screen i have made it too small I suppose i have given the value of n as 6 it will write the entire thing i have not written it then it will print the value of a then print the value of b in different lines first it will be print 0 because the value of a is 0 then it will print 1 because the value of b is 1 then it will store the value of i as 3 I am doing the dry run here i variable and I have taken a variable a b see I have taken 3 variables more the value of i is I have taken 3 because I have to print the third term now the first two terms are printed value of n I have taken a 6 I know the value of a and b is initially 0 and 1 see so what will happen while we'll check the condition i that is 3 is less than equal to 6 3 is less than equal to 6 is true it means it will run the loop and it will execute the first statement c is equal to a plus b c will be 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 now what happens the value of b is stored in a the value of b is stored in a that is a becomes 1 the value of c is stored in b the value of c is stored in b that is it also becomes 1 c was 1 it is stored in b b was 1 it is stored in a now a becomes 1 b becomes 1 now when i have to print c c will print the last value of c that is one now third term is printed now we will make i as 4 i is equal to i plus 1 i will become 4 vend means it will repeat the loop it will go back to this condition it will go back to this condition it will check i is less than equal to n 4 is less than equal to n n will not change n become n is 6 fixed 4 is less than equal to 6 is true if it is true again the loop will execute c will become a plus b c is now the latest value of a and the latest value of b will be stored in c c will become 1 plus 1 2 the value of b is stored in a the value of c is stored in b whatever was in b will be in a now this is known as swapping value of b is in a now the value was 1 now it is in a the value of c was 2 now it is in b see c uh, c value is in b now and b value is in now it is important to write the sequence if I will write this statement earlier to this one this program will be wrong okay so you'll have to check your programs after before finalizing by dry run you can check it after these two statements print C now what is the value of C last value of c is 2 it will print this is the fourth term now i becomes 5 i is equal to i plus 1 i becomes 5 have you seen what i have done again now it will check 5 is less than equal to 6 is true yes and again the these statements will be executed what will happen c becomes a plus b now a is 1 2 b is 2 now c becomes 3 again swapping 
value of b is stored in a value of b is stored in a that is 2 value of c is stored in b that is 3 is stored in b again the value of c is printed c was 3 last time 3 is printed this is the fifth term of the series i is i plus 1 i have made i as 6 now 6 is less than equal to 6 it will again go back to while it will check 6 is less than equal to 6 is true yes it is true if it is true again this proof will execute now c will be a plus b a is 2 b is 3 it will become 5 now a will have the value that was in b swapping again b was 3 it is now stored in a value of c is stored in b c is 5 5 is stored in b again the value of c is printed c is a plus b now the, uh, the value of c is 5 last time so it will print 5 Have you understood the value of C is 5 last time it will print 5. Now I will become I plus 1 that is I will become 7. Now again the when will go back to this while it will check that 7 is not less than equal to 6. Means 7 is less than equal to 6 is false. This condition becomes false after this condition is false this loop will terminate and we will come back to line number after line number 130 that is 140 this means program will end now this is the end of program now let us see how many terms of Fibonacci series are printed 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay we needed 6 terms and these 6 terms are printed you can easily see that they are the sum of the previous two this is the sum of these two, this is the sum of these two, oh sorry, and this is the sum of these two, and this is the sum of these two. You can easily see 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. This is the required output. So have you understood this Fibonacci series program? I have taken this counter variable to count the number of terms. If I will not take this, how will I decide? That how many terms have been already printed and now how many terms I have to print here in this loop how many times this loop will execute so we are taking counter variable to count the number of times this loop will execute okay now what is happening we are we are finding the sum of the previous two values we have taken the first two terms as a and b we have printed their values and in the loop we are finding the sum and then we are swapping we are changing changing the values of a and b i want this to become a the second term to become a and the third term to become b third term is c so how i will do that i will save the value of b in a and save the value of c in b this is what is known as swapping you can see my video on swapping of numbers the same program can be done with the second series by taking a as 1 and b as 1 a as 1 b as 1 the entire program will remain the same but the output will change okay thank you so much